I walk the line. When hearing this phrase, it is easy to picture Johnny Cash's voice in the back of our head saying, yes, I'll admit that I'm a fool for you. Because you're mine, I walk the line. Hearing this, it is easy to realize that love can make us walk a so-called line. But what exactly is this line drawn between? What is right and wrong? What is good and bad? What is worth it and what isn't? Contemplating what lies on each side of the line has led me to realize that we are not simply walking one line, and it is not only in the middle of two different sides of love. Every step we take, we are stepping over numerous intersecting lines that we must navigate. And looking down at these lines below us, it is easy to get lost in a sea of decisions that are overlapping around our feet. So let's take a step back and focus on one line at a time. A significant amount of the lines are related to the people who surround us. The most prevalent is probably your family. If you are lucky, maybe there isn't a line to walk here, but for me, I've always walked the line between maintaining a difficult relationship with my family and accepting that they still have my best interest at heart despite our disagreements. So because of that, I will continue to walk this line. Besides your family though, some of the most important people in our lives are the friends we see come and go along our journey. These friends can often be a good influence, but they can also get us into trouble. Maybe you are going to college and scared you won't be successful at your major. The friends who encourage you to follow your dreams no matter how scary they are, are incredibly important to have, and I am lucky to have a lot of them. But sometimes, you have friends who don't have your best interest at heart. But no matter the stress that they cause, all of their qualities aren't bad, so it keeps you walking down the line, often being pulled every which way. Some people are lucky enough to have a significant other who is there to help navigate the many lines that cause us to feel overwhelmed. But even though these people are often the ones holding our hands through the hard times, they can create a line of their own. They can cause us to question our own worth, our desires, our overall outlook. Sometimes a partner can leave you feeling worthless, but sometimes they can help you realize how great your worth truly is. Sometimes they can change your beliefs for the better or worse. A relationship is a whirlwind of emotions, especially when someone could get hurt. So as a result, a line is drawn and most of us continue to walk it and avoid the surrounding decisions in an attempt to be happy with the person who is holding our hand. Speaking of that, let's talk about happiness. This is often a line we draw unintentionally for ourselves. We have a preconceived idea of what we need in order to achieve true and blissful happiness. Sometimes it's materialistic, a career goal, finding a partner, or having children. This ultimate goal varies person to person, but we all seem to draw a line between the future and present. It is nearly impossible to be happy in the present moment if you believe that pure happiness cannot be achieved without certain future circumstances. It is so difficult to accept this though, and it results of most of us walking a line between being happy with the present circumstances and constantly looking towards a future event that must occur first. Now if we look back down at the ground below us, the amount of lines can be overwhelming. Johnny Cash may talk about being a fool for one specific person that he is willing to walk a line for. But the truth is, you don't have to be a fool to be willing to walk a line for someone or something. To put it simply, it kind of just happens. Most of the time, there is not a clear answer to a situation, but sometimes there is. It only makes us human. The lines below us make up the life around us, and as we journey through it, we cross over some lines and continue walking some others, and the memories that we gain from the decisions that we make are irreplaceable. It won't always be the right one, but we live and we learn. We get hurt so we can find happiness. We cross lines to test the waters. But being human means never truly knowing the right decision. Sometimes it's just trusting in the fact that if we keep walking the line, it will lead us to the right place.